Spencer Lazara, MMA Interviews. I have the pleasure of interviewing Mr. Adam Stella, member of the Tough 17 cast. You're uh, leaving in a couple days here. We're at Cindy Kim Martial Arts. Just got our last practice in. You're headed to Sweden to face Tor, another member of the cast. Talk about your preparation, you know, following the show here. Uh, you know, really getting ready for this fight was um, no different. Um, back home in St. Louis, I just made sure I was in shape, weight was down, um, and, and getting ready for the, the move down here to, to Vegas. Um, you know, this is where I want to start finishing my camps up and stuff like that. So uh, I didn't want to embarrass myself and show up out of shape, fat, chubby, not be able to, you know, spar with everyone. So uh, really just showed up in shape and uh, was ready to go. So you went home after the show and it had a few weeks or whatnot and then came back here? Is that kind of how it played out? Yeah, I was back home for, um, you know, I got back home right before Christmas and then uh, my sister ruined my plans by getting married. So I had to wait a few extra weeks to come out here. But um you know, she got married the next day. I was on a plane early in the morning, and uh, I came down. John Wood was kind of inviting, and obviously a, a great amount of training partners here. The pro practice is just the whole mat's filled. Yeah, the, it's, it's a huge step above where I'm from. Um, you know, back home we've got about five or six guys who are real high-quality, high-level guys. Here on Tuesday we had 40 dudes on the mat that were, you know, 20 of them were a lot better than I am, and then the other 10 of them were just a little bit better than me, you know? So it's, it's different going from uh, feeling like I'm the top dog somewhere to coming in and starting back at the bottom. But I mean, it's, it's a humbling yet good experience. Thoughts on facing your, your cast member friend there, Tor, over in his home country. Obviously the crowd's gonna be behind him. Yeah, you know, going over there, is, it's a little weird because I've never been out of the country, um, especially with him being from Sweden. Uh, I think it's gonna be kind of cool for him because, you know, uh, they don't really show him a lot on the show, but Tor was a super nice guy. Everybody liked him. Um, awesome guy, and him and I became pretty good friends. Uh, so it's going to be kind of interesting fighting a buddy, which I've never done. But um, as far as going to his backyard, I don't really care. You know, I've got the uh, the whole American thing going on. I got the Hulk Hogan walkout song. Gonna you know, gonna you know, pump up America. You know, so it's USA versus Sweden, and it'll be fun. Talk about the matchup, technically speaking. Obviously, your stand-up skills are where you feel like you shine. Yeah, I, I, you know, watching some of his fights, um, I think it's going to be him and I going in and we're going to stand up for a little bit. Uh, I really don't see it going to the ground. Um, he's not really much of a wrestler, as in, like, he doesn't really shoot in. He'll he'll get you against the cage, take you down, this and that, and uh, maybe, like, dirty, you know, dirty box, dirty wrestle you. Um, but for the most part, I think our styles are going to match up real well. It's going to be a tough fight for me, real tough fight for him. Uh, you know, and I'm... Him and I have already talked a little bit. We're looking for fight of the night. I mean, this is this is our one chance to you know get our foot in the door and keep it there. So uh, I think we're going to go out and uh, let it all hang out. Thoughts on being the first guys from the show to compete following the show? You know, you guys are one week before the finale here. Yeah, you know, I've talked to uh, I still keep in touch with everybody that was on our team. A couple guys from Sunnan's team as well. Uh, you know, and. We were all kind of gearing up to have like a big reunion down here, this and that, and then uh, I got this wrench thrown in my plans of uh, fighting a week earlier, but you know, everybody's super excited. You know, I hang out with Josh, uh, talk to him on a regular basis, him and Bubba, um, and you know, Josh is super pumped. I went and just trained with him for about a week and a half down there, and uh, you know, really, I, I feel ready. You know, really, nerves aren't too bad, uh, and confidence is actually pretty high, so I think it's going to be a good night. Definitely. And t just going back to the show, obviously, it's a question that you said you've been asked quite a lot was Uriah's comments on the show that everyone were kind of taken back by, I think. Talk about that situation. Yeah, Uriah, um, everybody asked if they edited it this way, edited it that way. They did not. Um, what you see is like one still shot, and that is exactly how the conversation went. Um, you know, referring to Uriah, basically calling me a bitch, my girlfriend a bitch for no reason. Um, it really came out of nowhere. and. And all of us were kind of set back because what they don't show is when he first came up, I don't even know if cameras were up there at this point, but when he came up, he was like, he had just gotten into the uh, whole uh, I'll fight Luke thing down in the kitchen, and uh, he felt weird down there, so he came up, and he, the first thing he said was, oh, well, I only like Dylan and Gilbert, so I, or Dylan and Clint, so I, I guess I'll sit up here. And the only person up there that was Dylan, myself, Josh, I think Gilbert was there, Colin, so it was like jumping into like a wolf pack anyways. Um, and then he just, he, he sat there and we all had a good time talking this and that. And then he just, 
he says he feels bullied and then he essentially turns into a bully and it's just i mean was that something common that you saw from him that, you know that kind of behavior where he he sort of anti-bully but turns into one himself um you know i didn't really interact with him a whole lot uh him and i didn't really get along too well you know despite the fight that we had you know i respect him as far as the fight goes because he did pull off an amazing ninja kick is what i call it uh you know so high five to him for that but um really he just he rubbed everybody the wrong way uh he had his moments where he's a nice guy but you know from what the other team had told us in the practices is is you know uh the other they didn't really nobody really wanted to train with him um and then you see when when we're at hooters everybody's taking a big photo he just kind of sat there off to the side by himself and it was uh it was just weird you know and his coaches had to go up and be like oh come on come on this and that and he finally got up but it just it, he's just a strange strange kid <laughs> so well what else do you want to say about the experience of the show you know all together uh you know the show was a good experience uh it's a it's really weird you know this day and age if you're bored you just flip open your phone you go to facebook you know youtube whatever you want to do you just kill some time there especially in my experience i'm up early you know i was up at 6 30 i would make breakfast and then i would just sit there and i'm like hmm so I started playing solitaire and I mean not like on a computer I'm talking old school flipping cards over this and that and it's kind of weird because you don't really know how many sets of cards you're supposed to have out you don't really know what kind of rules you're gonna have and then you start flipping just one card over and then you're doing three and you're like well I guess I'll just do one this time you kind of cheat here and there so you kind of start going a little crazy in your head but uh no it was it was it was cool a lot of fun glad I did it definitely made some lasting friendships I imagine yeah, you know, like I said, I still talk to Josh and Bubba. Um, you know, I, I just went and hung out with Josh. He had me, uh, he does a show down in Florida that I went down and kind of checked out. It, it was pretty cool. And, uh, you know, Dylan, if he didn't live all the way in Australia, I'd probably be, uh, we'd probably be best friends right now because D- Dylan was super cool. Um, you know, still talk to Colin and Clint a little bit here and there. But, uh, you know, I only live like three hours from Zach Cummings, so I think him and I are going to start cross-training a little bit up there. So that'll be, that'll be good. Nice, nice. Talk about the last episode and uh, Dylan's win. I feel like Dylan surprised a lot of people in his last two fights, perhaps. And here he is now in, in the uh, semifinals. Yeah, Dylan might have surprised people on TV, but the guys that were there training with him, Dylan's tough. Um, you know, I, watching his fight to get in the house, I was just sitting in the bleachers and everything we were watching. Um, I wasn't too impressed with him. But training with him, he's extremely hard to box with he's very hard to kickbox with he's really hard to take down and he can take any one of us down um as far as jujitsu goes i didn't really roll with him a whole lot uh but with this fight with with zach um you know zach's go-to move i think is um that whatever choke he had bravo choker um i don't know whatever dar's choke i don't know i'm a stand-up guy (laughs) but uh (laughs) You know, and Zach's like, oh, every time I get that, it's kind of over. And Dylan happened to say, that's the one choke I get caught with, so I know how to defend it. And as soon as he got out of that, we were like, okay, Dylan's going to take this. And uh, and he did, uh, kind of dominated. Then when he fought Luke, we, we thought he was going to barrel through him. But Luke put up a good fight, and, uh, and I believe those guys got fight of the season. I mean, it hasn't been announced or, or voted on or however they do it, but... Man, that was that was a war. Well, we're definitely looking forward to the rest of the semis, rest of the quarters, I should say, and the semifinals coming up here in the next couple of weeks. And anything else you want to say, Adam? Uh, no, I mean, just tune in because I know uh, I know the fights on uh, Tuesday. The next set of fights are, are, are really good, um, and then you just gotta wait and see what happens. It's kind of shocking. And then, of course, next Saturday he will be competing in Stockholm, Sweden. This man, Adam Stella. I'm Spencer Lazara. You're watching MMAinterviews.tv.